The Top 10 Most Expensive Commercials Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello Aluxers, welcome back. You might think TV is dead, but the era of the commercial is far from over. During the Super Bowl in 2020, Fox enjoyed a record-breaking $5.6 million price tag per 30-second slot, according to Bloomberg. Commercials are an age-old art form that can be described from anything from a camcorder filming local car dealerships, complete with gaudy graphics, to a Hollywood-style epic. This list takes you through some of the most expensive adverts ever produced from top actors to top flops. Be sure to stick around to find out who made a big impact and which commercial was a train wreck. Let's begin with the 10 most expensive commercials of all time. Number 10. Jaguar British Villains, 2014, $8 million What do you get when you cast three hypervillainous Brits and enough money to hire out London for some great helicopter versus Jaguar chase scenes? Well, Jaguar's 2014 commercial, of course. The ambitious commercial not only dominates London's central streets with a nighttime shoot that must have cost more than the crown jewels, but Jaguar also hired some heavy hitter talent with Tom Hiddleston, Mark Strong, and Academy Award winner Sir Ben Kingsley. The production value is all there, and it makes it onto the screen with James Bond grade quality. The actors bristle with evil intensity and ooze style and opulence that supports the narrative that Jaguar is an apex luxury brand. In fact, if you consider Kingsley's mega mansion and Hiddleston's helicopter, the Jaguar might just be the cheapest big ticket item on the set. Car and beer commercials dominate this list, but the top prize goes to a different category altogether. Be sure to watch until the end to find out. Number 9. Microsoft Empowering, 2014, $8 million If you're up for a real tearjerker, then this Microsoft ad has perfected the art. Microsoft moves away from the hard sell and rather aims straight for tugging at the heartstrings by showing, not telling how their technology is changing lives. From army dads video calling into delivery rooms to disabled children walking, no emotion is spared during this slow motion montage of people regaining their independence and quality of life through technology. The closing sequence shows former NFL player Steve Gleason of the New Orleans Saints, who lives with ALS, using Microsoft hardware to communicate the very message we've been hearing all along. Despite the high price tag of the commercial, Microsoft proves that the outcome of the technological innovation is priceless. Shut up, I'm not crying, you're crying. Number 8. Kia The Truth, 2014, $8 million when Lawrence Fishburne dressed as Morpheus from The Matrix shows up in an advert, you know it's going to be a fun ride. This advert starts out dry and a little slow, but strap yourself in because before the 90 seconds are up, you'll be questioning everything, including whether Lawrence Fishburne is really singing opera. The special effects are top drawer, showing that all the money made it onto the screen. The plot is a humorous take on The Matrix, where Morpheus's latest mission is not to free us of our fantasy world within the machine, but to bring complete luxury sedan driving to one classy couple at a time. Number 7. Joy of Pepsi, 2002, $8.1 million just eking out of the $8 million bracket of the first three adverts is this joyful commercial. Pepsi really hit a home run with this beautiful Britney featurette, showing the pop star in musical numbers spanning from 1958 to 2002. Spears was in the height of her career at the time, and it was a perfect choice to grip the viewer during this 90-second long music video type commercial. The sets, costume, and musical numbers alone must have each cost a fortune. Then adding in what Miss Spears must have asked for her performance, it seems un Unbelievable they came in at just over 8 million. Number 6. Carlton Draft Sky Troop Show, 2008, 9 million dollars. This one comes from down under, but you would never know when you consider the scale and budget of this production. The Australian beer brand's commercials barely make the light of day outside its home continent, but you can agree this commercial deserves to. The storyline centers around the halftime show at an Aussie sporting event. The stunt involves a fleet of skydivers leaping from a draft glass as it hurtles toward the earth. The team pulls off some formations, but the giant draft glass heads for a collision course destroying homes and businesses in its path. The special effects and computer graphics create an impressive final mix and show that Aussies mean business on and off the field. Number 5. 
Bud Light Up For Whatever 2014 $12 million when Bud Light surprises an unsuspecting member of the public, an average Joe called Ian Rappaport with a night no one could ever forget, the results are memorable to say the least. A series of hidden cameras capture his candid reactions to being whisked along in a limo with Reggie Watts, DJing for a bachelorette's party. Then styled in a tailor jacket, he's joined by Don Cheadle and his llama for an elevator ride before being pitted against Arnold Schwarzenegger for a game of ping pong. The final curtain is a personal concert by One Republic. The ad is legendary and the genuine disbelief of Ian the Everyman striking it lucky and going on a whirlwind adventure make it more endearing to the viewer. The production of this multi-location live-action shooting was an impressive feat and the end result shows that no expense was spared pulling off this masterpiece. Number 4. Chrysler Born of Fire 2011 $12 million M&M and a sensible car brand like Chrysler aren't exactly an obvious match, but when you consider that both Chrysler and M&M have enjoyed a colorful past in Detroit, it makes more sense. The commercial focuses on the urban grit of the Motown of Detroit and how different it is from the luxury and high-end status of Chrysler drivers. The whole advert is intense, dramatic, and will leave you cheering for the underdog of Detroit and viewing the Chrysler 200 in a completely different light. The commercial, created by Wyden and Kennedy, is considered by public voters to be one of the greatest commercials of all time. Number 3. Aviva Names 2008 $13.4 million Norwich Union needed a rebranding, so in 2008, the British insurance company took the daring move to rename entirely. They didn't want to be just another finance rebrand that no one noticed until they were looking for them, so they employed AMV BBDO as their agency and the names campaign is what they got for their $13.4 million chunk of change. Unfortunately though, no amount of money could save this and it completely bombed with the viewers. It's listed as one of the worst commercials of all time, which is surprising given its major budget, but perhaps the lion's share went to the stars it featured, namely Bruce Willis, Ringo Starr, Elle McPherson, and Alice Cooper. Looking at the finished product, the bulk of the money surely wasn't spent on the scripting, CGI, or camera quality, all of which looks pretty low budget. Number 2. Guinness Good Things Come to Those Who Wait 2007 13 to 16 million dollars the Guinness team have been creating incredible advertising campaigns for over 90 years. The Good Things advert certainly topped the budget with its incredible multi-camera production. The ad revolves around a Spanish village in Argentina, brought together with the common goal of pulling off a great domino rally. The action starts indoors with the first domino toppled, and then continues as the toppling snakes its way through the village, involving books, barrels, paint cans, cars, and flaming hay bales. It ends in a spectacular Guinness pint sculpture in the village square revealed to the shouts of happy onlookers. The commercial was produced by a team effort of interactive agency I Chameleon Group and the ad agency Abbott Mead Vickers BBDO. It was directed by Nikolai Fuchslig, the man behind the lens of the Balls commercial for Sony Bavaria. The advertising budget was only announced as part of the whole campaign, which totaled out to $13 to $16 million in its entirety, so we're unsure how much of that was actually the commercial production. Number 1. Chanel's Number 5, 2004, $33 million This commercial was a breakout in terms of the way commercials were done in the past. It was released amid a changing advertising landscape where branded content was completely new. Coco Chanel partnered with Baz Luhrmann and Nicole Kidman, who were fresh off the success of Moulin Rouge. They created an exquisite short film that was screened in cinemas during the trailers as a 360-second version, and then a re-edit of 180 seconds emerged, and then later an even shorter 90 seconds for the UK TV ad market, and 30 seconds for North America TV ad spots. The film is the story of a famous celebrity, Kidman, trying to escape the paparazzi pursuing her relentlessly in New York City. She jumps into the cab of a man who doesn't know of her fame, Rodrigo Santoro. He whisks her away to his Lower East Side apartment for a few days of lovemaking. Her secretary tracks her down and sends her back to work. As she walks a red carpeted flight of stairs, she turns and smiles at her lover, knowingly gazing back from his perch on a Coco Chanel sign on the building. The short film spared no expense, from on-screen to off-screen talent. The musical theme was Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune, arranged by Craig Armstrong and performed by the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. 
And Aluxers, that's a wrap on the top 10 most expensive commercials. But before you go, you know we're curious. Which was your favorite commercial of all time? Did it make it onto our big budget ad list? And which commercial do you think was worth the cost? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's that bonus you're waiting for. One commercial bound to go down in history is the 2020 Super Bowl advert by Cheetos featuring MC Hammer. The 30-second advert explores the superpower of the Cheetle. Cheetle is the telltale orange remnants left behind on your hands after shoveling down a bag of Cheetos. The advert cleverly incorporates MC Hammer's famous Can't Touch This lyrics with everyday situations the main character gets into by displaying his Cheetle fingers. It's been 30 years since Can't Touch This landed, so it's a perfect time to revisit the joys of Hammer Time with the man himself. The reoccurring face of MC Hammer, perfectly timed at the moment of Cheetle reveal, is wizardly, only topped by the brilliant CGI. One scene with particular special effects prowess shows MC Hammer transform from a picnic basket and a blanket into checkered hammer pants and performing his famous hammer dance off screen. It's sheer brilliance, and although the cost is not disclosed, it's definitely priceless. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.